Did you know that she had a boyfriend? I ain't had, I ain't yeah. had a boyfriend. What's going on? How come you didn't say nothing? Um, I, uh, I don't have Give a you everything. Boyfriend. What you mean you don't have a boyfriend? For you. you don't do sh for me. Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy. Go by too bad. Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we got something wild, something very disrespectful, something very sad, actually. I ain't gonna say it's disrespectful, in that. well it is disrespectful, but it's, it's extremely sad for the person involved. This dude is in the military, you know what I'm saying, serving our country, risking his life, you know what I'm saying, doing his thing. He gets a call. Well, I don't know what happens, but somehow he finds, I was about to make up a whole story, I'm like, he gets the call, and blah, 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 blah. I honestly have no idea. But if somehow he finds out that his girlfriend, the love of his life that he thinks about every night before he goes to sleep, ends up marrying some other man while he's away in the military. Now, that is wild. To cheat? Okay, that happens to almost every single military couple. The, the, if the husband goes away, the wife is probably getting clapped by somebody back home. You know what I'm saying? But to get married, that's another level. So he finds out while he's away in the military that his wife or his girlfriend gets married to some other random dude back home. And this is his reaction, I guess. I don't know. We finna watch this, though. L's in the chat for him. L's in the chat for the girl. L's in the chat for everybody in this entire video. But let's just hop right into this. It's a cold compilation of a bunch of crazy videos, but it's gonna show that video at the end, I think, or something like that. So let's go. The worst couples ever. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Shy Clips here once again. And this is gonna show clips of the worst couples I can find. And like always, my favorite clip will be at the end, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, guys, it is definitely not good either. Essentially, we have this woman who's, I guess, on vacation while her husband is back home. And I guess while she's on vacation, she's trying to hook up with these other guys at this table, and she even admits that she's already married. And when the guys point it out, she starts saying things, oh, my husband is super confident, like that has anything to do- What the f- what? what does it have to do with anything? And my husband is super confident, so he doesn't mind if I just get bust down for some, by some random dude in France. Like, what? You stupid. These little girls be stupid, bro. Do with you cheating. I'm pretty sure he has no idea what you're doing on this vacation, but check out this insane clip. That's why I'm getting divorced. I'm not, I'm not doing this shit. I probably won't. I'm good. You gotta help me. Go do that with him. That's why I'm getting divorced. I don't fuck with that. Uh, man. I'm good. It's not, well, I just don't know you. I'm not doing it. Like, I'm, I'm good. Oh, my husband's It'd be the ugly girls that piss me off the most. <laughs> like, come on. Let's be, it'd be the ugly girls that piss me off the most. How you ugly and cheat? You should be happy one person likes you. How are you ugly and cheating on the one person that likes you? This is, this is a disgrace. These bitches just got here. They ain't been here four hours. And this sex was also insane as well. Basically, looks like there is this concert going on. And I guess this girlfriend decides to hook up with a guy in front of her boyfriend, and an entire feud goes out. To the point where actually cops were called. Check out this clip. <laughs> So I need everybody to push their way up to the curb, push their way up to the sidewalk. And we gonna keep this party going. Make sure that y'all push your way up so the traffic can roll through. And we gonna keep this going. Okay. Keep it off until they're off the street, then you can start it off again. Alright? And this next one actually bro. Bro. I don't even know what happened here. It looked like he found his girlfriend getting freaky with another man at the party or something and he caught her so i don't know that's l's in the chat this compilation might just be an l's in the chat for all women honestly breaks my heart to see this and i kind of did want to add it in because it is with a mother and a father but i guess their son is like a huge drug addict and he's outside on the beach living on the streets and he doesn't want to come home and the mom is literally pleading to him and you get to see the reaction of the father saying yo let's just let him go and it's so heartbreaking to see someone you know raise Dang, not to be ending up like that's this sad. That's so sad, bro. Imagine you birth, you you raise your kid, you birth him, you raise him, and then he just gets addicted to drugs. Like 
That's so sad. And I feel for the mom. And like I feel for the dad where he's like, you got to let him go. He made his decision. There's nothing you could do about it. It's not your fault. You got to let him go. I feel that. Even though this dude right here looks like the thing off of freaking Fantastic Four. In this next one, I'm not sure how this even happened, but I do hope she's okay. I don't want to spoil this. This is definitely one of my favorite clips on the list, though. In this sexless girl's absolutely stupid. Wait, 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 wait. Did we just listen to somebody die? What? What? That sounded like a car crash. That's not funny. What are you laughing at? Why are you laughing? And this sex with this girl is absolutely stupid, and I can't stand these kind of teenagers, to be honest. Maybe she's not a teenager, maybe she's an adult, but basically, she starts bowling with a pumpkin. And she completely destroys a bowling alley with it, because obviously a pumpkin is not supposed to be there. And she gets kicked out with a security guard, and this security guard absolutely roasts her life, guys. He is not easy on her at all. And what he says at the end of the clip is absolutely insane, and I'm surprised she didn't cry from this. Why do people do this? Like, teenagers be so freaking stupid for no reason. Like, why are you just stupid during that age? Oh my. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. That was so good. That was good. Uh, just, right. Get the you guys on, huh? What? Check that out now. What's Let's going go. on? Let's go. Let's go. Get the shit, shit up. Let's go. Come on. Don't touch Come on. Me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Go on, walk. Don't touch her. Don't touch hey, me. Hey, shut the up. Man, I wish you would tell me not to touch you. If this is my bowling alley and y'all messing up my bowling lanes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Why are you yelling at me? Go. I'm not touching you. I'm just walking. We're trying to get in the Halloween spirit right now. You're a little bit mean. Yeah, you're stupid. Come on, let's go. Damn. As a security guy, I would let's be a go. lot more nice. Let's go. As a security guy, I'd be nice. As a security, I would have threw your ugly little stupid stuff out the freaking bowling. I would have threw you down the lane, Goofy. Stu Man, this is why I can't be like no. I can't. This is why I could never work at like customers, not customer service, but like these type things where people would just like do stupidness, and I would just have to. Act according to how they acting. Oh, dumb person! Don't like who? You know go do it somewhere else. Did you get a strike? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Come on. I, I got a what is it called? A turkey? No I got stupidness. A turkey. Come on. Let's go. Go. Put that girl on your thing. Shut the fuck up. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice if I call. Yeah, honestly, I would not. Me personally, I would not stand. I don't hit girls, you know. What I'm saying I would never hit a female in my life. But that phone would have been called, and I would have called a female to come hit this female because you don't have to keep playing with me. And them little boys just in the back talking, about, talking all that talk, man. You would have been on the floor crying, getting rolled over by a car. I'm not gonna lie to you. Call your parents if I do know your parents. Call your they, parents. They, they will know what you guys have been look, doing. Look, my mom or my dad. Go. My mom or my dad. From this. That was a good idea, wasn't it? You know, pumpkin. No, spirit. it's dumb idea. I, I just told dumb? you it's dumb. That's who does that shit, throwing pumpkin on a bowling alley. Can you take your ass home? My ass home? I'll take my fat ass home. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Stop! Oh. I can't eat a court. Go. We're going to court. Go. All right. In the sex one, there's a podcast about the. I could tell that little girl got some daddy issues. That's all I'm saying. She has some issues. She's trying to impress them boys. She is the school thought. I'm no like I, can, I already know all these things about this girl just by the way she acts. She's the school thought. She has daddy issues. She, she, she is trying to prove something to these little boys to make them like you, and she never gonna know that they don't like her, cause they really don't like her. They, they, they. She, it, they. There's so many things that's wrong with the little girl, and then the dudes is just horrible as well. So. These girls saying they want to be treated like a queen, but this guy pretty much has a rebuttal for it, and I don't think I've ever heard of a more catchier phrase than this. I don't want to spoil what he says, but just check it out. Let me know what you guys think. See, that's why the I did not want to tell old boy. What was I, I talked to somebody else. You no, I'm saying, bitch yeah. lie to you, like, oh yeah, no. No, nah, no, nah, you gotta keep, you gotta keep it a buck. But at some point, you gotta look for growth. You gonna get what, thirty years old, thirty five years old, when right. when them looks ain't all the way up there, and then you not the baddie that once was then. You're not looking so good, and then you want that nigga to take care of you and treat you like a queen when when you ugly now. Like, okay, realistically, right? Let's be realistic, right? Girls, 
y'all be peaking from whatever age up until 25 maybe 30 you know what i'm saying and if you ain't find nobody by then your looks start degrading and as a woman as a, as a girl you know what i'm saying that's one of the, the biggest things that dudes look for in a girl the looks the looks is what attracts the looks ain't what what keeps but the looks is what attracts them so once you get like older like 30 35 and your looks ain't looking no more you ain't attracting no men then you're wondering why you're single for the rest of your freaking life it's because you decided to be a little thought for your younger age while you was in the prime season to attract the love of your freaking life you wanted to be a little thought doing whatever the heck you wanted to do i don't freaking know but why did i just say all that do this even have anything to do with this video i don't know why would I treat you like a queen if everybody been in between? Mm. I like that line. <laughs> in between. Yeah, put, that, put that on the show. We're going to have that on the show. Yeah, no, that sounds like yeah, right. right. that was... And the sex was gross. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Absolutely stupid. Basically, her ick is mentally stable, dudes. I don't think I've ever heard of anything stupider in my life than this one. Let's ask the girl a question. What gives you the ick? What gives me the ick? Somebody who's too stable mentally. She's too stable. You want a guy? No way. Bro, you're too stable. Too stable. What? So you got what? Yeah. It's Max. What gives you the ick? Yes, I have no and this next one this girl pretty much explains why she broke up with her boyfriend but the guy who was interviewing her pretty much knew exactly why she did and she's just making stupid excuses try hiding her real reason you ever had an ex yes a bad one no good one why'd you break up because he sucked what's three things you didn't like about him one i wanted to be a free spirit so f other guys yeah two he was overprotective and three, I don't know, I just wanted to like live my life in college. Yeah, just wanted to fuck around. Yeah. Be honest. I just wanted to fuck around. Okay, just be honest though. That's like what I was just saying. You want to live your life in college, man, live your life. But it gets a little bit harder to find the love of your life after. I'm just saying, because you're losing like that. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> In this next one, this girl pr pretty much asked this woman, would she ever want a train ran over her? Until so she admits it, and well, this ended up happening. Pay attention to what the guys are holding. It's so funny. Can I have a train ran on you? You know what? Yeah, I've, there's been times where I've been like, no, you know, that, that would be a good time. What? But you know, I've never done it. I have an opportunity for you right now. Like we oh have- Oh my God, no! <laughs> <laughs> Pull your pants up. Pull your pants up, player. I said, oh, I like it. Uh, I just got what he did. <laughs> she said, she kept saying, pull his pants up, pull his pants up. So he zipped her shirt up because she probably had the titties up. Pull your pants up, player. I said, oh, I like it. This next one i really do hate to see this apparently this happens so often this guy is i guess next to a girl watching a movie with her while she's on the phone with her boyfriend because i guess her boyfriend wants to see her and she doesn't want to see him so disgusting i hope the boyfriend sees this and this next one is absolutely embarrassing and i guess this guy was not feeling her at all oh, let's watch the <laughs> She having a seizure? <laughs> Second hand embarrassment be like. And this next one's girl was really caught and I think had the best reaction I've ever seen. But basically her excuse was for cheating that this guy doesn't do anything for her. And I guess since the guy doesn't do anything for her, that means she's not dating him. I guess it's about whoever can spend the most money on a woman and that's how you really know if you're really dating them to what this girl is saying. Uh, this is her boyfriend, man. Uh, he, 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 yeah, this is her boyfriend. Did you know that she had a boyfriend? I, I, I didn't yeah. have a boyfriend. What's going on? How come you didn't say nothing? Um, I, uh, I don't have Give a boyfriend. you everything. Boyfriend. What you mean you don't have a boyfriend? For you. you don't do sh for me. <laughs> you don't do sh for me. You walk around saying you're my boyfriend. You don't do sh and you know it. I love you! Bullsh he loved me. And this next one, this guy asked another guy, would he actually let his girlfriend sleep around once so he could sleep around for his lifetime? And he said, no, he doesn't want his girlfriend sleeping around at all. But his girlfriend has such a horrible reaction to this. Look at this. Hey, this is your girl. Yeah, this girl. girl man. Would you give your girlfriend a whole pass for, for one day if it meant you could get one for forever? You would have never. Why not? Why not? Oh, she said why not. Why is she saying why not? Oh, yeah, she, she, she cheating already. 
She is not about to cheat. She has already cheated multiple times, my brother. You might as well leave. Oh, do you want one? <laughs> yeah, it's the speech now. Yeah, he's in trouble. Yeah, there's a problem. In this next one, this guy is 100% single after this one. I guess this girl could not contain herself in front of these guys, especially since they're like, I guess, big YouTubers. She wanted to do this on camera, and I think she thought it was appropriate. I don't think it was at all. I don't think it's funny. This guy has a right to be mad. Hey, John, you know why we in a video? No, we in a video? No. 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 They won't no. find him in Mexico. They won't find him in Mexico. Wait, what was that thing? The secret side of me. I never let you say. And this next one, this guy asked another girl what her body count was. And I'm not sure why girls say it's so empowering to have a high body count when they're lying behind the scenes because they clearly know it's a bad thing. What is you guys' body counts? Nine, ten, ten. Three. Three. Whoa. You know it's not three. She's not How much is it? It's like 11, 12. 11, 12? Yeah, she's lying. What's your body count? It's three. Oh, it is? <laughs> That's the. Every girl says three. What did A Boogie say? Whatever number they say, multiply it by three, then you got the real one? Sounds about right. Oh, that's no, two. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, it's two? Two, 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 two. Okay, but that, but. You don't. How do you subtract the body? Give her 50. And I'll probably have a clip on the list, guys. There is this guy. He's actually in the military just to find out that his girlfriend's getting married to another guy. He has a video of it, of his girlfriend actually getting married to another guy. Like, I and that's so hard. This is the clip, though, but that's so hurtful, bro. That's so hurtful, bro. You over here dodging bullets, and your girlfriend back home is dodging somebody else's kids. Like, come on, man. I, I'm not sure how this even happens, but I feel so bad for him. Probably one of the worst things you could see while you're in the military. No! Why are they laughing? Why are they laughing? What is they laughing for? That's not funny. That's sad. That is sad. That's depressing. What do you do after that? Do you call her? Do you send her a wedding gift? Man, I don't, 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 I don't freaking know what you do after that. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. But that's the end of the video. Um, if y'all enjoyed it, make sure y'all smash that like button. What would y'all personally do if y'all was away in the military for three years and then somebody showed you a video of your girlfriend back home that she'd be FaceTiming every day, texting every day? She just got proposed to and said yes to some random dude that you never seen before what would y'all do like what is y'all next response after that you know what i'm saying i don't know i don't know what mine would be but anyways that is the end of the video if y'all enjoyed it smash the like button like i said and if y'all enjoyed this video you will for sure enjoy this video right here it's wild the disclaimer super crazy this mother and daughter relationship is disgusting like really disgusting you could tell by the thumbnail and the title is just watch the video bro but that's everybody. I'm going to see y'all out.